<clears throat> I'm sorry, this is part two of Wake Up. I left off with telling you about the SIM cards. See, SIM cards can be hacked. I can go to any place, what they call them, flea markets. I can go to any flea market and I can buy a hacked SIM card. Me, I have a phone I can take the battery out of. I refuse to purchase phones that you can't take the battery out of. Your TVs are wired to listen to you. You notice how everything now is wireless? Your doorbell is wireless. I have a sleep number bed. It's ran off of the internet. Your uh, alarm system is ran off of the internet. See, Obama did a, a, a real good one when he extended the Privacy Act. And that extension was cell phone carriers, internet providers, dish providers have the right to listen in on your phone calls. You think it's not happening? Again, you're living in La La Land. You're living like Alice in Alice in Wonderland. You're living in the rabbit hole where they want you to stay. Because once she got out that rabbit hole, oh, she saw what life and what Earth was really about. But as long as she was in that rabbit hole, oh, she was seeing all kind of shit that wasn't real and believing it. So we've all fallen into a rabbit hole. I had a question asking, do I think that some of the blue and whites are involved? I don't know. What I can say is if you have sharpshooters on the roofs of apartment buildings in a low income area such as Inglewood, if you have cement blocks that can block off a street and keep the people all populated in one area, when you have unmarked police cars that are Mustangs, that are your know, average car that you wouldn't even think would be the police, blending in with the G's and the drug dealers, wearing dreadlocks with that pants sagging. Reminds me of that movie, In Too Deep. They blend right in. Chicago is a very, very unique city. I think it's a test city. That they test things out here. And see how the people are going to respond. You've never heard of a uh, any type of march or any type of protest when that young man got shot 16 times 
16 times by a police officer. You didn't see a protest here. You know why? Because we've been desensitized to death. That kids go to school and they're stepping over dead bodies. So we're numb. It's just an everyday occurrence that happens. I've seen a dead body or two. It's nothing to see that here. But we got to wake up as a people. We got to stop hating one another as a people. We got to stand in our truth and we got to fight. I'm older than a whole lot of you people that are vloggers. I've lived through a whole lot of history before some of you were even born. I was out there with, at the time, Operation Push. When we were out in the street protesting for affirmative action. Protesting so black people would have the right to vote. Protesting so my grandfather wouldn't be embarrassed again when I was with him and a white man would approach him and call him a boy and look at the hurt on his face. I saw the Black Panthers when Dr. King got killed and they came over in the territory where I live and they made sure that every black child was protected because this area was all white every black child and every white person they saw they beat the shit out of them so the little librarian was up at the school with the door open, screaming for everybody to come in, everybody to come in. I saw more little white kids with their face busted open, heads busted open. I was reading Angela Davis when I was a freshman in high school, her autobiography. I remember when they burnt down the organization in Pittsburgh and burnt all those people to death. I've lived it. I saw it. America, you are not an American. They don't look at you as an American. And there is a group called Black Revolution. And they're being distracted because all of these presidential candidates are promising reparations. That in their minds, the American Indian was not black that I had to go into my books and take a picture of what the American Indian looked like when Columbus landed on the shores of America. In his journal, when he wrote back to Queen Elizabeth who sent him of the people that he found, that their hair was kinky, their skin was that of bronze. See, it didn't start off as slavery. It started off as indentured servants. Europe had nothing but disease, rats. That's where the Pied Piper came in. You know the story of the Pied Piper? 
See, they was dying so much over in Europe because they were so populated with rats and the disease from the rats were killing people. So this person who called himself the Pied Piper played the pipe and he noticed that the kids would follow him along. And he made a deal with them and said, if I can get rid of all these rats and all this disease, will you give me anything that I ask for? And they were dying at such a fast rate that they agreed with him. And what he asked for was the children. So when he played the pipe, the children followed him. When you start reading all these fables, a lot of it is true. A lot of things they've taken out of the schools. Children have been abused for years. Even in the Sunday book, you had to give a offering. Offerings in order to show God. Isn't that how Cain and Abel ended up fighting and one killing the other? Because the Almighty, the Most High, asked both of them to bring him an offering. And the Almighty wasn't pleased with the offering. And the brother got upset and killed his brother, which was the first murder that ever happened. And the brother was banned. To nod. They don't mention Adam's first wife. Who was mirth. Who ended up leaving Adam to go to nod because they said she was so headstrong she wouldn't listen to Adam she was a woman of her own mind and thought that the Most High had to make another woman who was more docile that's why women are demonized all throughout the Sunday book. They were burnt at the stake, called witches. They were subservient to man. Even in the Middle East now, women are just now getting the right to drive a car. But the same people that the United States wants to fight with are the same people that they're in bed with. This is not our country. This is not our home. We are in the age of Aquarius. Those of you that understand the age of Aquarius, you all know that's when the way things normally go would change. In Edgar Casey's book, when we reach the age of Aquarius, it was going to be man his actions and his deeds and his mind that would determine if this earth was going to end 
or if we would start living in peace and in love. CERN just launched another atom and proton mixed together that is so strong that it affects the mind. If the mind is affected, the spirit is affected. Again, there's only two. One in Argonne, Illinois, and one in France. That again, they got on CNN and announced, we have found the God power. Man wants to be God. That movie that Da Vinci called, where they kept trying to find what they were scientifically trying to find a way that if these two met, elements met, the strength that it had can destroy. There's genocide going on. Well over 200,000 blacks have moved out of Chicago. That means that they're coming to the state near you. You're going to see the crime rate increase. You're going to see more death. You are, a lot of you all are ex-army vets. You all know the mind control that they use in the army. They use MKR, mind control. They were waterboarding those that they had captured in Guantanamo Bay. They were playing loud music 24 hours 7 days a week to where the people couldn't sleep sleep deprivation will drive you crazy they're doing the same thing here I told you I was in Puerto Rico. The first time I went, there was military on every corner. I've never seen any place, and I've been to a couple of places in South America, I've never seen any place that didn't have police, but they had armed military soldiers on every corner. See, they got to test it out on the people. They test it out and they see how people are going to respond. And when they saw that the people weren't up in arms and weren't asking why, and remember Puerto Rico is a province of the United States. So what better place to do your testing on a people? Here, with all the death that we have, what better place to start martial law? They see that we're not doing nothing. They see that no one is coming to Chicago, all these black organizations. Because half of them are in bed with the government. They see that people are not going to protest. 
So, you know, when <laughs> the tanks, I showed you a picture of a tank. When the tanks roll in, and oh yes, Chicago Police Department have tanks. When they roll in, people are not going to be alarmed. They're just going to keep going on about their business. All of you young YouTubers, again, this is your world. If you don't stop it now, I feel so sorry for you all. I feel sorry for my son. Because the world that I'm leaving him is going to be such a nasty, cutthroat world. They hide nothing from you. They're very good at distracting you. But they hide absolutely nothing from you. It's all in your face. I can go tomorrow and I can go to different parts of the city and I can videotape the art that they have, the murals that they have on the walls. It's in your face. One mural has people of every color, children. immigrants holding hands and above it it says they're nothing but meat on a hook there's another statue that's been standing for God knows how long that I've driven past I don't know how many times and never paid attention to it and it's a statue led by military on a horse where people are shackled together. Children, men, women shackled together being led away by the military. You all don't believe that they have plastic holding cells just like you all didn't believe that prisons are not built by the government they're built by rich people prisons are now privatized if I had enough money I can build a prison I think to hold a prisoner for one year is well over $30,000. Do you understand how much money they're making off of privatized prisons? That here they have built so many, they were staffed, but there were no prisoners in there, that they were going to sue the state of Illinois. So that's why you see so many men and if you ever go down to Cook County it's a revolving door of Hispanic and black men because when they privatized to build those prisons the state agreed that they would keep them full It is not a place of rehabilitation. When they come out of prison, they come out like beast. Beast. I told you I got a 16. Well, he was 16 at the time he was arrested. He was an accessory just because he happened to be there. He never pulled the trigger. 
He never put his hand on the gun. He never entered the house. But he was there. At 16, my baby was shackled, taken out of the home. He was taught to stand in his truth. He refused a plea deal. Had he taken a plea deal, he probably would be home now. But because he refused a plea deal, he was sentenced to 53 years in jail. So when they do all this doxing, all this releasing people's homes, their addresses, pictures of their homes, and if something happens to that person, everybody involved is an accessory. They're doing so much illegal things on YouTube that finally if you notice when you get into a chat, they tell you not to put any of your personal information out. They are watching chats now to see what people are putting in there. I don't know if any of you all notice, but there's a community announcement right before you start typing in. They're watching this sector of YouTube. For all you all know, I could be working for YouTube and reporting channels and recording channels and recording chats and recording threats and sending it right to YouTube with the content creator's name. They can take it off all they want to. It's in a database. Anyone that's on YouTube has a YouTube channel. They can do exactly what I'm doing. Not signing up with YouTube to be monetized not signing up and being an what people think they're an employee of Google. And I cannot believe it when I hear people say you can make a lot of money off of YouTube. What's a lot of money? Someone please tell me what's a lot of money? It's irrelevant. A lot of money to me could be a hundred dollars. A lot of money to you could be a thousand dollars. It's just another tactic to distract you from the real world. So when I say those weak in mind, those weak in spirit, will not live long because things are happening very very fast that thing you all call karma is coming back so fast that you, you can sit back and watch it and say well damn I didn't want all this to happen at all, but it's not up to you. It's up to the Most High on how it's going to be paid back to them. Brother J, everything Five Bay said was right. They took away a source of income from you. 
you might have to sell your home. Because if you're doing Airbnb, you don't know if that's a friend or a foe. You don't know who sent them. You and I both know that there's a lot of mentally ill people on YouTube. They've admitted it. They tell you when they're not taking their medication. That in order for me, see, I got hacked. For me to feel safe, I sleep with this on my chest. That's just one. And I got those two pits and a Rottweiler. I've seen enough Facebook videos here in Chicago where they so bold and broad daylight and they'll film it, FaceTime it of them pumping five and six bullets into someone. But they're coming your way. I've noticed the violence in Atlanta has picked up. There's a lot of evilness. This is the devil's playground. And baby, they plan and snatching souls along the way. Now I listen to a, a person that I believe is a prophet. I listened to Farrakhan this morning, and I would encourage anyone to go back to their website, NOI, and listen to what Farrakhan spoke on today. And he's preparing his death. He's 86 years old. He had prostate cancer. He refused to let the hospitals treat him. His daughter is a doctor that she used, not the medical training, but the holistic, where she had him upside down, hanging and feeding him herbs. Had he been in the hospital and let doctors treat him, he wouldn't be alive today. And he's preparing them at 86. No man lives forever. And as a people, what are we going to do? Who's going to be the voice? We gotta stop cursing out our kids. We gotta stop exposing them. We got to start unifying. We got to stop this colorism. They say women empowerment. Then be your natural self. Be like you were when you were born. You weren't born with weave. You weren't born with makeup.
and because I have Masons in my family, there's certain things they can tell me, and there's certain things that they're sworn not to tell. Now, one of the things that took me away, I don't wear wigs, but it blew my wig off. It's when that whole story of Adam and Eve, how much it was changed. As a child, when I read it, they said Eve ate the apple from the tree. Then it changed to the serpent. One of my brothers that's a mason, he had to put it to me. He says, you remember when you first read it? Yeah, I remember. Okay, when the Most High found them, how did he know that they had eaten from the tree? Because it wasn't an apple. What does it say now? It was a serpent. How did he know? I said, because their private parts were covered up. They said, and what was in the tree? I said, a snake. And what kind of snake? It was a serpent. <clears throat> and what kind of tongue does a serpent have? It has a double tongue. So I was explaining that the real sin was the sexual act from the serpent was done to Eve. And the pleasure that she got out of it was so good that she wanted Adam to feel the same way she felt that pleasure that lust because man and woman was put on earth to procreate not to lust after each other that was not the purpose it was to procreate and to stay pure in spirit when they dropped them jewels on me I literally opened up my front door and I said, get out of my house. Get out of my house right now because you done fucked me up. Get out. After that, I started studying masonry because there's so many in my family. As a child, I didn't know the Shriners were also masons. And Masons get a bad rap, like there's something evil. Until you research it, until you, the females, are stars, until you understand it, you can't speak on it. You can't say it's evil. They've told you your own original form of religion was evil. And you believed it. I don't want to pull out books and show you how black men were not allowed to preach unless the white man was sitting out in the congregation to make sure what he was preaching is what they wanted the people minds to soak in. I don't feel like pulling out books showing you that if Christianity is that of love. Why were 
the elders killed for reading the Bible to the youth. I don't want to make you remember in movies that slaves had Sunday off and they were made to sit in a circle while the master read the Bible to them and they were speaking under their breath asking who is this person Jesus they keep talking about we ain't never heard of nobody named Jesus I don't wanna pull out books where they got in boats and went over to different countries and passed out Bibles and scared them to death of the wrath of the Most High. That's why I stopped going to church because it was too hypocritical the Bible contradicts itself. And it's indoctrination. And they want to teach you how to speak in tongue. If you want to teach me how to speak in tongue, teach me my natural tongue. You have no idea what you're saying. That's why the Most High and Babel put down the law that every man would speak a different language. Because we all spoke one language. But every man would speak a different language. And once he put that law down, people immediately start speaking in different languages. There's a revolution that's going to happen. Either you gonna fall and die, or you gonna stand up and fight. Go to the Black Revolutionary YouTube page, Facebook has quite a few, I mean many groups of unifying. That one group I was in the young man that went out and shot the policeman in the head happened to be in that group. That was after that killing of the young man that had his hands up in the air. And they swore for every one of us that you kill, we're going to kill two of yours. Oh, it's not too late to change what you're putting out here to teach the youth to unify with one another as content creators to put information out there that can possibly save someone's life to understand that our black children are given injections that are giving them ADHD, ADD, that they also bought back the term of special ed, and I really want to speak on IEPs. It's an individual evaluation program. Anyone can go in and be an advocate 
for a child that needs to have an IEP in place. Do not let the schools tell you because you're not the parent of that child that you cannot go in. An IEP consists of first testing. Your child is tested. It normally starts in grammar school. They find out their strengths and their weakness. The parent or the advocate then request what type of services that they want their child to have. The IEP is a legal piece of law that has to be followed by the school system. It puts your child on an even playing field with other children. In my son's case, a A for him was anywhere from an 85 to 100. He had two extra weeks. This is what I asked for, two extra weeks to turn in his homework. I asked for tutoring for him. And because he went to a chartered school outside of my area, I requested bus service for him. I could have sued the school because for three months I did not have custody of him and he was not yet in the system and they refused to let me do the IEP until I contacted Springfield who came up and asked me if I wanted to sue the school. I had the right to choose any high school for him to go to that could provide him the services that he needed. So if I wanted him to go to Highland Park or Winnetka, two of the richest suburbs in the United States with all white kids, that school would have had to pay to transport him there and back home. So when you go in and do an IEP, you get a form and you request what you want for your child. Once they graduate from grammar school, they have a transition for high school. That has to be done within 90 days. No, I'm sorry, that has to be done within two weeks of them coming in to high school. In my son's case, they lacked for three months that they actually curse the principal out. And you request who you want in, the principal, the vice principal, any person on staff, and they cannot leave the room unless they ask the advocate for the child or the parent, is it okay if I leave now? Once they graduate from high school, they have a transitional IEP to college. By my son having disabilities, they allow his classes to be audio taped, visually taped. He has the phone numbers to his professors. Because he has a disease that has eaten up the muscles in his arms, the muscles in his chest, some of his lungs, 
some of his intestines. He has surgery on his leg. That he has to have a locker close to his room. And his classes have to be close together. If the class he chooses to take, which is a required class, is full, they have to make room for him. Yes, he has to buy his books, but they have to give him a second set of books to have at home. If any, it's the social worker's responsibility that every teacher and every professor has a copy of the IEP. If any of them do not adhere to one thing on that IEP, that parent can sue the school. Again, you got to know the law. You must know the law. No, they don't just have to have ADD, ADHD. Maybe your child has a hearing problem. Maybe your child has a visual problem. Then they should be sat at the front of the class. Maybe your child has stutters. Then they have to offer them speech classes. And until I became a Muslim, I learned you never say you piggyback off of anything. We don't ride pigs and piggyback. You do your research and then you add on to it. But I never use the word piggyback after a sister in a mosque corrected me. The things that came out of Seven Star's mouth was disrespectful, was racist, and it would not be tolerated in a mosque. So I wanted to come back because my battery ran out. I wasn't finished saying what I was going to say. Old ones, young ones. Yes, report on the fuckery that's going on on YouTube. And then educate as you go along. Be careful what you allow your ears to soak in. That's why a lot of you all are saying it's draining. Yes, it's draining your spirit. It's too much. Yes, because it's not natural. I'm going to leave you with the words of peace. And I'm going to ask that Allah brings you peace so you can sit in peace and you can know thyself. You can know your spirit. You can know your journey. You can understand your legacy. Not one of us has ever sat down and asked, why am I here? What is my purpose? The answers are there, but you must be in peace and quiet so you can hear the Spirit speak. They call it a conscious community. It's really those whose diets and who see this world, 
I see it. Sage. I know, Fire Bay, you couldn't think of the word. It's something our ancestors have done for years. You sage. You cleanse. Especially when you come from being around someone who carries an evil spirit. It's all in their eyes. Look in the eyes of people. Some of their eyes are black. They have no souls. Some people can't look you in the eye when they talk to you because they're liars. They've lied to themselves and they're lying to you. There is no reconciliation. You all are not co-workers. Ride by yourselves. Stop these cults. So I'm going to leave you with assalamu alaikum. May peace be with you. Your response should be waka laka ayam. Which is may peace be with you. I guarantee that when if you ever run into a hostile man. One who is about to just snap about to really hurt someone or you run into these little kids speak those words assalamu alaikum and you will see the spirit calm down because of the vibrations of those words so I'm leaving you in light and love forever stay in the light Protect your spirit with what you're soaking in. Live in love. Speak in love. Leave your legacy. Find your journey. May Allah hold you in his highest of favor. May your ancestors continue to guide you, protect you. May you always pay homage to them. May you never forget them. You can go to the Mormon site, the records of slavery. They have free, unlike all these other sites that make you pay for you to find out who you are. The Mormons have opened up the books. Find yourself. Go back to your rituals. Go back into paying homage. Go back into celebrating young women into womanhood, young men into manhood. Teach them independence. Show them love. Peace.